hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we are doing a farmhouse um framed artwork from dollar tree if you like these diys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up click that subscribe button and let's just get into it so for this project you're going to need one of the stretch canvases two of these wall um decor but you just need the wood form so you need two of those and then whatever sticker from the dollar tree you want or you can freehand or print off you know a stencil or whatever but I'm gonna start by getting rid of everything that is around the MDF wood that's um, holding this frame together um, I, I just struggled with it a little bit I probably should cut a little bit more then it rips right off after that you're gonna want to get rid of the hanger and the staples on the back and then you see me just pulling off um, separating them because I use two so I need four of them and um, I'm just pulling off the little edges that aren't gonna make it it really is easy like it comes apart fairly fairly simple so now I'm just measuring off how wide um, the canvas is it is an 8 by 10 so those are your measurements um, and then my husband used a uh, miter box I think it's called and a saw they do have saws at Dollar Tree and if you don't have a miter box or you don't want it in an angle you don't have to do that that's just how I wanted it you can cut it straight down and make it you know squ squared off now I'm just cleaning up the rough edges with a little sanding block I also got that at Dollar Tree and here's the sticker that I used I thought it was super cute I want to put it in my office and it says girl boss here are what the four sides look like again the canvas is an 8 by 10 and I'm going to start with just figuring out how I want my sticker um, make sure you check your stickers because a lot of them do not fit an 8 by 10 so um, if you wanted to go get a larger canvas you could do that if not make sure that the stickers are small enough because I have gotten a little disappointed with a few stickers that they were too big for the canvas but this one was perfect so now I'm using a hot glue gun I will say guys use regular glue and let it dry this with hot glue you have to work so 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 fast and um, with a smaller glue gun I don't even I run out of glue sometimes before I can even you know get through the whole line so I would say hot glue but I mean I would say regular glue but the hot glue did work for me um, it's just that I had to peel it off a few times because I had to work faster than what I was working and then I went ahead and I reinforced it with some staples and there is that sign it was fairly easy and it cost me four bucks to make now onto the next sign I got one of these I love um, wall plaques for Valentine's Day and I removed the heart and I'm going to go in with some um, Waverly chalk paint in ivory and I'm just gonna try to cover up all of the red basically and really make this look like a rustic wood effect or weathered wood I guess is what you would call it and this is the finished product of that I took a sticker like the last one and um, I think it's like a wall sticker is what they're called and I'm just going to smooth it out onto the can't onto the surface of the little wood plaque I know you see like bubbles here but when it's hung up on the wall you don't really see it and the plus side looked a little plain so I wanted to add a border so I went and I had the Jenga pieces um, the tall tower and they had already had some stained so I um, put the frame together first and now with the frame already dry I am just going around the border of it to be able to place the entire frame down at once I used 10 at the bottom 10 at the top and three on both sides um, and then the frame fits in there 
pretty well like on um it fits right on top of the front uh photo pretty well and there's another frame all done this one just cost three bucks and i absolutely love it